True or false, you've survived six accidents. True. <laughs> uh, were all six deadly or had the potential to be death? I believe five of them was deadly. Five out of yeah, six. Yeah, five out of six was deadly. Okay. Yeah. Let's start with the deadly ones. Uh, let's focus on the deadly ones. <laughs> what were the five incidents, and maybe you can tell us the order of which they happened, but what were the five incidents uh, that were deadly or could have been deadly? Okay. Uh, the first one, I'm not going to blame my ex for this one, but, you know, I'm going to blame her because... She kind of caused it. All right, we was driving. We was we was down uh like you know the crunchy side of Annapolis. You know, we was driving. So I'm, you know, I'm just chilling. You know, she be talking. And she she now she ain't in feelings. You know, females always in their feelings and stuff. So she was like, look at your phone. I like what? Look at your phone. I was like, nah, I'm driving. You know, I'm going like 50, 60. She's like, look at your phone. Then I'm phone in my face and everything. I'm like, what are you doing? She was like, who is this? I was like, who's, who's the female? Awesome. It's Miss Twerksome, right? So she got jealous because there's a picture of Miss Twerksome on my phone. Let me tell you, I'm a I'm, you know, I'm number one fan of Miss Miss Torsum. I don't know where she's been at now, but you know. So she was like, Who is this? I was like, you know, you know who is this Miss Torksum. So soon as she showed me, I'm driving speeding. I I am I, I even forgot I was even speeding. One car stopped suddenly, hit the back of that car, told her the front, oh my and it, that's the, the thing is that was that's like like one of my first cars, like Nissan Maxima, told her about my my Everything was told. I never, the uh, what airbag busted. She was she was yelling, and crying. Oh my God, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. She ain't, she ain't even bleeding. I was like, I woke up. I said, Oh my goodness. I got out the car. I said, Get out the car. I don't know if this is gonna blow up. Ooh, but the people in the other car, you know, they was um, you know, thank God it was okay. You know, it was okay and that stuff. And you know, they didn't try to fake no injuries. Like, oh yeah, we you know, you know, they got the ambulance. We got in the ambulance because she said she was feeling some type of way. So we got to the hospital, you know. Then, you know, we waiting in the hospital. Guess who's waiting for me? The op, <laughs> you know, the police. And he's like, oh, yeah, um, we got to give you a ticket. I was like, I was like, where were you? Where were you when all this happened? Because there was really no police when this happened. It was just ambulance came and they talked. It was like, yeah, uh, we're going to give you a $300 fine. I was like, I'm like. You don't know who I am. Where, where I was like, okay, whatever. I don't even care, cause you know I was more concerned about her health at the time. So yeah, that's one of them, one of the deadly accidents. Before you go on to the others, were you wearing seatbelts? Oh yeah, most definitely. Always wearing seatbelts. Oh, always wear my seatbelt. Safety first. Kids, wear your seatbelt. Anywhere you go, wear your seatbelt. Tell your friends wear your their seatbelts too. Uh, uh, what injuries did you suffer? I, I didn't suffer any injuries. Okay. I mean, to tell you the truth, all my accidents, I, I always come out good. I don't feel pain, you know, I, I don't know. But this is an accident that still could have killed you. Yes, most, most definitely could have killed me. Could have killed me and her, you mm -hmm. know. When the airbag pops out, is that something that is painful or what is that feeling like? I don't know. It's like it knocks you out, to tell you the truth. It's like a, like a one-hit punch. Like if you don't, it's, it's like suddenly, like instantly. And you just, it's like a knockout. When you wake up, you're like, damn, what the hell happened? Yeah, I don't, but it, I think it does protect you. But it do, it leaves bruises. It do, do leave bruises on you. I've heard some people do <laughs> get bruises. I've heard sometimes it can, I don't know if an airbag is like blown up or like burst, maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, and can cause an issue there. I haven't, I, I haven't experienced that. But when, when it hit my ex, I don't know. She was not like, she it's, it's like a boxing match like she she got knocked out like she was she didn't know what she was she was confused yeah, yeah oh so it can get you to be unconscious oh yeah it can. okay i see uh is there a smell or something when it when it pops out or yeah like 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 a, like a new like a new bed type smell mm -hmm. i don't know like like new like sheets like new sheets or something like that or getting burnt or something yeah it smells like that so. well, well i guess when the airbag uh comes out does it, uh, and it's like a bubble, right? It's like a, it's a bag. Mm -hmm. Does it deflate or do you have to pop it to get it to deflate? Cause it's. I believe you got to pop it because it didn't, it didn't deflate when, when, uh, when, uh, when it popped out. So I just, are you stuck there? Like when it pops out, are you just like stuck in position? You can't move nowhere. So you got to deflate it or. 
you, you can still you can still move. Oh, okay. Can, but it, it just stays, you know, popped out just to let you know that it popped out. You know. Cars totaled? Yeah, car totaled. Did you have car insurance? Yeah, of course I had car insurance. Why would I? I don't, I don't drive dirty. Of course. So what happens when a car is totaled and you, you have car insurance? It pays for a brand new car? It pays for the value of a car? How does it work? Oh, oh yeah, for that, for, I mean, I had insurance, but I didn't have full coverage. So, you know, if the car was done, it's done. You got to go get a new car, or go find, if you want to go repair it, but it's total, so you can't really repair it, so... Mm. Yeah. So only if you had full coverage, you could get maybe the same car, uh, the same value of that car of what it was worth, mm -hmm. or take a check and get a new car, put it towards a new car or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that that's what the insurance does when you have full coverage. If you have like a liability, it's, it's your responsibility. And then, you know, they probably pay a portion. They probably help, you know pay for them, the people that you injured, but you it's your responsibility to take mm -hmm. care of. So you survived this accident. Uh, but now you have to get a new car. Most definitely, yeah. Most most likely, I had to go get a new car. I, I, sometimes, man, I, I've been out with no car sometimes. I've just been foot walking, then got a new car, then that, you know, another accident. Got ahead again. I've been through a lot of cars, man. Okay, so this was the first of five deadly accidents. What was the next one? The next one, um, I was, oh yeah. I was just out with my boys, and we was out, you know, pulling some licks and stuff around the, you know, around around the neighborhood. And I'm not my own neighborhood, around their neighborhood and stuff. So it was like five o'clock in the morning. I had to drive to work, and I, and and I had to work in like two hours. I don't know why I keep doing this. I'm, you know, that's why I'm always working because I always be. I don't. I don't get. I barely get sleep. So I was driving and I slept on the wheel. So when I slept on the wheel. When I woke up, cause I, cause I like I fell asleep for like two seconds. When I woke up, the car was spinning mm. in the middle of the road. But thank God, there was no other cars in the highway. I was spinning in the road for a while. Then I went down. Then I went down a ditch. Then the, uh, the car didn't. Thank God, the car didn't flip. I went down a ditch. When I when I got out the car, car total. Mm. Car another car total. And then I think that was my uh, that was a car my father gave to me. He hand hand down to me. Told her that joint too. Jeez, but luckily there was a McDonald's right across the street. You know, you know, I ran to the McDonald's. I was hungry after that because. You know. Did the airbag come out in that situation? No, or? the airbag did not come out. Of did that you situation. have a seatbelt on? Yes, sir. I had a seatbelt. You yeah. think that saved you? I believe in every accident, the seatbelt saved saved me in every accident. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that was uh, two of five. Yeah. What was the next deadly possible deadly accident you faced? Um, it was another one. My ex was involved. The same ex on the first one. She was involved with this one too. Okay. But then my brother was in it too. And the thing is about this car, you know, I don't know. Some it's always unlucky because the next this car I literally just bought it. Like I, we, me and my mother went out searching for cars because I haven't had a car in a while, and I saved up a little money. We bought the car. Haven't drove the car in, in months. The day I decided to drive it, had my tags, everything. I picked up, I picked up my ex, cause she talking about she want, she want to uh, smoke or whatever. I said, all right, I'll pick you up. Ooh. I mean, my brother was maybe. I was like, all right, cool. So I was just testing the car, cause, cause it was, it was funny, cause I was by the time I, when I went home, by the time I was gonna go home, I was gonna talk to my mother about it and say we gotta take it to the mechanic, cause the wheels, wheels funny. So I was. Um, I was driving, we was driving down like a narrow road. Then uh, it was it started raining out of nowhere. You know, uh, wheels started hydroplaning. I was I was going. I don't think I was going that fast. I was I was I wasn't driving that fast, but I was going like what 40, 50. Car started hydroplaning. All of a sudden, car flipped. Now car didn't flip. It turned around. I never seen a car done that in my life. It turned around. Then it was uncommon, uncommon traffic on the other side. It hit the back of the car. It turned, it, it went clockwise. Went around a pole. The pole tied up to the wheel. The, 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 what, the trunk, the trunk gone. The, the boot gone. 
like the side of the, the side of the car like dented in my girlfriend in the back I mean, and my ex-girlfriend, she in the back, she bouncing up and down because she ain't had no belt on. She bouncing up and down. And my brother had his belt on, but my hand was on him the whole time because, you know, that's my brother, you know. And, you know, I, I was caring about my ex, too, but I didn't know she had no seatbelt on. Mm. So when that happened, you know, everybody was fine. But then again, my, you know, my ex, she, she, you know, she unconscious. She, she don't know what's going on. My brother was scared, but thank God he was good, you know, because if I lost him, if you know, if anybody was lost that day, it was been very devastating, especially to my mother. You know, yeah. I'm just, I just thank God that we was good that day. That was, that was the second daily, second, uh, third. Yeah, yeah, third, third daily action. Yeah. Did airbags pop out? Did airbags pop out? No. Okay. I don't think the airbags worked in that car. So, so that's that's another thing I was really concerned about. But um, yeah, it didn't, it didn't pop out. It, it didn't pop out in that car. But it was either. totaled again. Yes, total. Uh, at this time, did you have full coverage? Um, no, because they, they didn't they didn't want to give it full coverage because it's, it's such an old car. Ah. Um, yeah, insurance insurance don't give old cars full co coverage because you know it might you know break sooner or later. Yeah. Now, different states might have different rules, so I don't know if that applies to every state for everybody watching this. But in your case, that's what happened with the insurance company and how they felt about your car. Yeah. Okay, so that was three of five. What's the fourth deadly accident you faced and survived? Fourth deadly accident. Okay, yeah. The one we drove, drove off a cliff. Uh, it was This guy, we, we call him Bruce Wayne. Okay. I mean, I ain't giving him the name. It's his man's giving him the name Bruce Wayne. So, you know, one night... I mean, my cause we used to have a little house together. We, it was me and the little old gang was used to have, living in a little house and stuff. So he came through. He said, "Yeah, we trying to go on a night run, just drive." Woo -woo. I was like, "Everybody, like, we just trying to go smoke, dude." I was like, "Oh, right, whatever, fool. We do what we gotta do." See, I'm just like bored or whatever. So, so we we all jump in the car. Is uh, Bruce Wayne, Kirk Gotti, uh, Gotti, and me. So we driving. He he driving around his neighborhood. Beach tree, that's mansions and everything, just big ass houses. So, you know, I'm not even familiar with everybody. I know about Beach Street because you know that's where the uh, rich people live at. So he he went down to a, a spot. I think they still building or whatever, and there's no lights. So he's driving reckless. He just driving up and down reckless, you know, drifting, just speeding. I'm just like. I'm in the car like, what the hell is this man doing? I, I ain't come out here to just, you know, risk my life. I just, I just thought we just out here to smoke. So, so all of a sudden, all I know is he hit, he hit like 120 on the dash. Zoom. Let me tell you, this, this pitch. Imagine going 120, pitch black. You don't know, you don't know where you going. All you hear is this do. All I knew is everyone was in the air. We was in the motherfucking air, like, like, actually, I'll never, I, I just thank God I was live that day. But the thing is, the car, when the, how the car was flying out, it was because there's a, there's, a, there's a whole lake right there. It's a lake, and it's a cliff, then it's, you know, it's like the shore, you know, the shore. So we flew, instead of the car nose diving, it dropped like this. I'm going to say that's, that's God's work. But it dropped like this instead of nose diving. Because we was actually nose diving. So, mm. so it dropped like this. So, when, so it done. When I'm in the air, I'm just like, what the fuck? My other, my man's, my man's right next to me. He's like, he's like, oh, hell no. Nah. So, so we land. <laughs> so, so as soon as we land, Bruce Wayne jump out the car. Oh, my God. Oh my God, what's going on? Y'all good, bro? Y'all good, man? Me and my man got out the car, man. It was like, man, what the fuck wrong with you, man? What the hell wrong with your dumb ass? Man, I, said, I said, where my phone at? Man, man passed me my phone. He said, where the J at? We, we, I think we lost the J that day. We kind of mad because he was like, man, we ain't want none of that shit. We just left. We left him. We left Bruce Wayne and his man. We was like, because we ain't, we ain't with none of that shit. We, you almost killed us today. We could have we sued your ass, but you know, I don't I ain't got time for that shit. So... So we we left. We just started walking. No back pains, no nothing. You just started walking. I was like, man, I need to get the fuck out of here. We, I need an Uber or something. I don't know. I can't be around that situation. He just, we just flew off a cliff. Like we literally just flew off a cliff. Every time we tell somebody the story, they just look at us like, yeah, I flew off a cliff. 
we realized flew off a cliff. Like four people could have died that night. Like, and you would have heard it. You would have heard it around. I mean, but you're not from the DMV, but you would have heard her in, in, in PG, PG County News or some. We heard on C CNN or, or Fox Five or some. Four kids just died. Same apparently looked like a, a deadly accident. Jump off a cliff. Man, just thank God I'm still alive. Y'all had seatbelts. Yes, we had. We all had. I believe we all had seatbelts. What about uh, airbags deployed or no? Uh, airbags deployed. I think the fronts. The the you know. I think our airbags on every in every side of the car. Only the front. I think it it's depends on how old the car is. Older uh, cars is probably just the fronts. The newer cars, it could be side airbags mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I, I think the only. I think the airbags only came out at the front. So, yeah. And Bruce Wayne, he was under the influence. Um. I guess the marijuana. I don't know if you know. He wasn't drunk. He wasn't drunk, and thank God he wasn't drunk. Cause I, I feel like he would have done something even stupider. But uh, no, nah, yeah, he, we was just, we was just all high. We was just. How tall was this cliff? You think? How many stories? Probably like two, three stories. It was, it was pretty. I don't know. I know I was in the air for a long time before we hit the ground. I, I, I never, I never been in that type of situation in my life. You've rode a roller coaster before? Yeah, yeah. I, I rode Is a that a similar feeling? Yeah, it was most definitely a similar feeling. Mm -hmm. It was, it was, it was like, it was like a, a roller coaster, and all of a sudden the track just stopped, mm -hmm. and you just fly off. Yeah, that, that's that's how it was. That's how it was. So that was the fourth deadly accident that you faced. Now, what was the fifth one? The fifth one. The fifth one. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. What, what, what is the fifth one? Cause I, I, you've been in six accidents. Five of them were deadly. We talked about four of them. Do you remember the fifth one? I want to. I want to say it. It wasn't me, but it probably was me. Uh. I. I think. Yeah. It, it was. It was one when. Uh. I was. Yeah. They hit me. I. I ended up getting being at fault for it, cause I was. I don't. Cause they. Cause I was a teenager. But they hit me. But they hit. Me. I thought when someone hit you in the back, is there for all. But it some, is. but for some reason they was like it's my fault, and I was like, how the hell is my fault if someone hit me in the back? So when they hit me in the Unless back, you backed into them. No, 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 I didn't back into them. So uh, they hit me in the back, like the the the, the, the kind of the back of the side, and made my car spin. Mm. And I don't know, I'm always spinning in some type of car. It made my car spin, and, and but the car didn't get totaled. It just fucked up my 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 side of the car, and the tires, you know. It was kind of difficult driving our car for a while, but yeah. Seatbelt on again? Yeah, seatbelt on, yeah. Uh, airbag deployed or no? No, no, no. Not the way you were hit? No. And that was your car? Yes, it was my car. Was it totaled or was it be able, able to be repaired or? It, it was, it, we, we repaired it, but the thing is because of how he hit the car, it kind of like really fucked up that side of the car, like the tire, because every time, like you couldn't have no weight on the in the back seats. If you had weight, it would scratch the tire. One time, I had too much weight in the, in the back seats, like because I'd be rolling with a whole bunch of people sometimes. So, and it was uh, weight in the back seats and tires bust. I remember one time tires bust back to back, like one tire bust one day, the next day uh, I fixed it, the next day another tire bust, and I'm like, damn, I'm like, man. Too much money put in this car, man. I just might as well just get a new one. Mm. But yeah. So five possibly deadly accidents, um, but you've been in six. All right, what have you learned from these accidents? Okay, you've been through. I mean, you have five <laughs> lives apparently, six lives. <laughs> I think I got one more. But uh, what I learned is wear your seatbelts and pay attention to the speed limit. Don't don't go over the speed limit. Pay attention to the speed limit. Watch around for cops from for feds, cause, cause you know you just, just drive safe out there. It's not it's not worth or oh don't text and drive either. It's not it's not worth you know losing your life over you know, uh cause a lot I know a lot of teenagers be texting and driving. A lot a lot of people be texting and driving now because you know the phone area, social media area. So you know you just stay away from your phones and just drive, cause you never know. You just look away for a second, boom, accident. You know. Especially, especially in bad weather, hydroplaning happens, snow, you know, slipping and sliding. You just got to be careful. It's amazing if you think about it because every day we hear of people in the news 
it could be their first accident mm -hmm. and they're killed. Mm -hmm. You've survived five deadly accidents. I thank God for that. Uh, I, that's the only person I can thank. I can. I only can thank God for that because I don't know if, if it was if it was because of, because of him. I don't know where I'd be. In. Do you feel invincible? Uh, you can say that. I do feel invincible. Like, uh, like I feel like unbreakable. I'm, I won't say I feel unbreakable. But I do feel like I'm very strong in spirit. I'm like it made me as strong as a person, like as a human being, like, you know, as like physically, like it just made me, it made me feel like I'm stronger than anybody else, you know. So. Have these accidents changed your outlook on life? Uh, what, what do you mean by that? Your outlook on life. I mean, sometimes people go through something like an accident and it can be very traumatic and they maybe change some things in their life or they do uh, or they hand, handle life differently or they think about things differently because of, you know, going through an accident such as maybe one of the ones you named. Um, yeah, it did. The one especially when I, uh, the accident with my little brother, yeah, that kind of changed, it made me change my ways when I drive because I, I don't, I don't be speed. The only speed when I'm, is only me. Cause I know how. To, I mean, I, I'm, you might look, look at me like a hypocrite. Like he, he, I know what he, he about to say. He knows how to drive. Yeah, I know how to drive. Like I'm, I won't say I'm an expert, but I probably can do NASCAR if I wanted to. Like I could, I can drive. Like, like racing, all that. The, what Need for Speed, you know. All I can, I can drive. Like, but um, but with the accident with my little brother, it made me just say I gotta stay safer. I gotta be aware of who's with me, cause you never know. What you do affect can affect everybody else. You know what I mean. So you know, I just try to, I just I just try to be careful and be conscious of everything I do. It just just you know just if you have people in the car, like you can't be going like a hundred, and you got like four other people with you in the car, cause you cause you never know you know or you can't be doing too many things in the car and you're not focusing. You know you, you end up you know just you know hitting somebody or speeding or hitting a rail or just not just losing control of the car. You know.